In this video, I'm going to show you the 100% guaranteed way to become a millionaire and tell you exactly how long it will take. If you don't know me yet, I'm a former chief financial officer of software companies with an MBA in finance from Cornell University, and I'm a chartered financial analyst. So I know what I'm talking about, and I'm sharing it to help people achieve a richer life. So here we go. Step number one, like it or not, you'll need to earn money. Forget about day trading stocks, options, or crypto, or launching a fast growth company and selling it later for a pile of cash. Sure, some people get rich that way, but very, very few do. Most people actually lose money or don't make much money by doing that stuff. The most reliable way for most people to earn money is with a job. So get the best job you can with your current skills and education. Are your current job opportunities bad? Don't worry about that, it's temporary, and I'll talk about what comes next in a minute. When I was young, I was broke just like everyone else, but I believed that I could earn good money if I went to school first. Now, I know that college is not for everyone and it's not the only path, but it was right for me. So I went to college and worked in a grocery store during breaks. When school was done, I started working in a job well below my skills because the economy was bad, but I worked hard and looked for ways to get into better jobs, which eventually happened. There are many careers that will pay you well. Your first task in this journey to become a millionaire is to get the best paying job that you can and then look for ways to grow your income from there. Ali Abdal, now a popular YouTuber, was a medical student in England. In between his long hours studying and working at the hospital, he enjoyed posting videos to YouTube. Over a few years, his channel grew a lot and became very successful to the point that he was earning far more on YouTube than from his day job as a doctor. So he stopped being a doctor and made YouTube his side hustle into his new career. Notice that in both of these examples, we focused first on getting into a good job and then looked for opportunities to grow. That brings me to the next step in this process, which my friend Sam used to transform his life. I'll share his story in a minute. Step number two, because your job is your main source of income, think hard about the job you're in now and whether or not it can give you the maximum income over your career that you are capable of. There is an excellent chance that you can achieve a better career than what you're doing today. Do research to learn about careers that sound interesting and pay a lot more than what you're earning. Don't worry about whether you have the skills and education right now to do those jobs. First, just learn about what careers are out there that have good employment opportunities, meaning there are a lot of jobs available. By the way, here's an example of what not to do. A lot of people want to become actors, but almost no one achieves success in that field. So please don't pursue sexy sounding careers that almost no one succeeds at. Then once you've identified a better career for you, plot a path to get from the career you're in now to the career you're interested in. It might require more education or training, and it might require changing employers or even industries and a move to a new city. Don't let that stop you. The sooner you get after it, the sooner you'll get there. When my friend Sam was a teenager, he was interested in being a pilot, but he couldn't afford the cost of training. Instead, he became a paramedic. For the next 10 years, he worked for a big city fire department, but he still wanted to be a pilot at an airline where he would earn substantially more than his paramedic job paid. He finally took the plunge and began working towards a career change. He started flight training, which was expensive in his spare time to earn the necessary pilot ratings, finally quitting his paramedic job and taking a big pay cut to work as a flight instructor. Now, as the father of a young child, this transition was not easy. But within five years from when he started pilot training on the side, he'd achieved his goal and was working in an airline with substantially larger pay ahead of him in his new job than he ever could have earned had he stayed in his old job. It would have been so easy to just keep doing what he'd been doing, but instead he took action, embraced the challenge of switching, and is now in a much better place because of it. Step number three, manage your expenses. There's not a lot to say here other than that this is really, really important. If you spend most of what you earn, which is what most people do, then you won't have much left to invest and you won't become a millionaire. My recommendation, because it makes it easy and is so powerful in helping you achieve your goals, is to use a simple online tool called You Need a Budget to get and keep your finances in order. Make it a game. Once you can clearly see where all your money is going, it starts to become fun to see what spending you can comfortably reduce without even missing it, which you can then invest. 
This is really powerful and it's easy money. Think about it. You have to work to earn more, but all you have to do to save money is to choose to reduce your spending. No work involved. I'll put a link to You Need a Budget in the description. Check it out with their free trial. I think you'll like it. And last, step number four, start investing as soon as possible and invest as much as you can. This is where the magic happens. This is what will get you to be a millionaire. For this example, I'll assume you put your investment in a diversified equity fund like an S&P 500 fund, which represents an investment in 500 of the largest US companies. You can open an account at any brokerage. I like Webull because they usually offer a good promotional incentive for opening an account with them. And I've been a satisfied user of their investment platform for over a year now. I'll leave a link to Webull in the description too, so you can check it out for yourself. So the big question then is, how long until you become a millionaire if you do this? That, my friends, is largely up to you. How long it will take is a function of only two things, how much money you invest each year and the rate of return on your investments. For the rate of return, I'll assume that you invest in the S&P 500 index and earn 10% annually, which is the approximate return that is earned since it was created in 1957. The only remaining step then is for you to decide how much money you can invest. The more you earn and the less you spend, the more you'll have available to invest. And the more you invest, the faster you'll become a millionaire. That's why it's really up to you. Before we continue to the actual time periods, I need to make a big caveat. I am not your financial advisor, and this is not financial advice. So speak with a financial advisor before actually investing. Investment returns can vary significantly from year to year, and I'm using simplifying assumptions to illustrate the point of this video. That said, here are four quick examples that show how long it will take, or rather how fast to become a millionaire if you follow this process. Example number one, if you invest $765 per month or $177 a week, then you will become a millionaire, but it will take you 25 years to get there. Keep in mind though that inflation will significantly reduce the value of that money. So even though it's a million dollars, it's not worth nearly as much as a million dollars is today because by then the prices of everything you buy will be a lot higher than they are now. So the sooner you can get a million dollars, the more it'll be worth in spending power. Example number two, if you invest $1,335 per month or $308 per week, then you'll become a millionaire in 20 years. Example number three, if you invest $2,431 per month or $561 a week, you'll become a millionaire in just 15 years. And last example four, if you invest 5,000 per month or 1,154 a week, then you'll become a millionaire in just 10 years. These examples make it pretty clear why steps one through four matter. Takes this process seriously and in time, maybe not even very long, you can become a millionaire. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.